our uh, Android Python code reads an image file from the phone's external storage and sends the image file via HTTP post to a REST API. Let's uh, first set up Kiwi Android application and the GUI for the phone. We begin by writing our root class, myapproot, which inherits from Kiwi grid layout. For this class my app root, let us write a Kiwi design file which specifies the graphical user interface layout of my app. Here is a visual map of how the widgets are laid out. Here, root refers to the root class my app root, which inherits from grid layout. My app root is referenced to draw the GUI on the screen, and root height and root width refer to properties of my app root class. I'm going to set the color and alpha channel values for this level widget. Then I'm going to add a box layout inside the top level grid layout. And it is going to have two widgets inside of it. So I specify two columns. One is a button and another one a text label that we will use to display some output from our program when we click uh, the button. And the on press property of the button is uh, set so that when we click the button, it'll call grab underscore send underscore img method of the root class. That root class is myapproot. We will implement the uh, grab underscore send underscore img method in a bit, but before that, let's set up the text label here. Let us uh, implement an object property which we will use to send values from the uh, Python program and set with it uh, the ID of the label here. For Python reference, we will name it img underscore size underscore label. And for Kiwi reference, we will name it img underscore size underscore label underscore Kiwi. And uh, we will specify them on the two sides of the colon here. Just uh, need to fix the indentation here. Next, we have to implement the grab underscore send underscore img method in my app root class. Before that, we need a class my app that inherits Kiwi app because ultimately we want to launch our app as a Kiwi app. Its build method uh, instantiates the my app root widget class and launches the app. Uh, to put everything together, we finally have to instantiate my app. Let's implement a callback function to handle internet and external storage access permissions.